So after all that birdie talk, I'm going to work with the little birdie this morning. He's a design of mine that I'm going to make available in my coloring book, Mama Dove. I love how easy he was to work with and how versatile he is. So you can either color with them or you can do the needlework that I do. You can also use other forms of mixed media, like if you want to have the pattern but cut out paper and just have the bird out of paper or fabric. My coloring book is more like a pattern book. <laughs> I ended up doing this girl. I like her. I love how she turned out. And um, I, when I saw the, the bird, I, it just, he's adorable, but I wasn't quite feeling him on this background. I think maybe he needs to be on orange, and I don't have orange, so the next time I go to Walmart, I'm going to see if I have orange metallic paint, and that's what I'm going to go with. Or if I can mix some kind of concoction, I will. This was my original idea, and I think there's something here, but I just don't think this is the right background. I will say that I love the way the paint adhered to this board. So I've got the I've got the cardboard cut 11 by 17 and I like the way the images fit on here. I think it's going to be perfect and I have chosen a metallic paint to use. It is uh, a paint that I found at Walmart in the craft section so it's inexpensive, um, easy to find. It's perfect. Um, it's it was a one coat coverage and I love how it looks. So I'm very pleased with that. So the only thing I have to do is um, when I finish with these girls and I get ready to uh, ship them off wherever they're going, I always um, iron the back of these. Should I take my glasses off? To show my latest tatting girl, I just drew this on the fly. Actually, not on the fly. Anyway, I've been going through my images and I saw her. I was reminded of this girl. She reminds me of Frida for some reason. That's just what I think of when I see her. And um, so I was looking at this and knowing I wanted to do something creative tonight. In order to fasten this, I mean, it's not going anywhere, but to make sure that it's permanent, what I do is I iron the back. So I'm going to do that next, and then I'm going to just, I'm not going to get crazy with the glue. And smooth this out first. That way I won't have a big blop that um, shows through on the front to be careful of that because I have had that happen before with the felt. So I just spread it around and I'm not going to get real aggressive when I tack it down. But look at her. Look how fabulous that is. I love it. She looks great on that. So this would be ready to either, you know, use on a pillow. Article of clothing or a pillow or a whatever. I love how she turned out. I love the color. It's red heart and it's bikini is is the flavor of this variegated yarn. And I decided, you know, which which colors I was going to put where, and then I cut cut what I needed a little bit ahead of time. I didn't get crazy because I don't like to have any more loose than necessary. And it's an easy way to make a really cool design that is color coordinated. But um, now that I've done it, if you want to repeat it, you can, um, because I think I'm going to include her in. I'm going to make her available somehow. I haven't done it yet. I've seen a lot of you that like to use PDFs, but one of the issues is that it costs a lot of money to get the ink. I used to have a printer uh, like a decade ago, and I spent a couple hundred bucks for the printer, but I would buy a cartridge 
that would last forever. I and I could print over and over and over again and you know that's just not the case these days. Now one of the little tricks that I do is I don't always use my printer. If you get a PDF of an image, now I know this is not practical for a very busy pattern, but you know like this little bird or patterns of any sort that you buy in a, in a PDF format, but most everyone has a 17 inch monitor at home. So what you can do is you purchase the PDF and you just trace it, put it up against the, the, the screen and if you work with felt like I do and you buy the creamy color, you can see right through it. And if you're careful, I mean, no, I don't want you to ruin your monitor. Use your monitor as your light board. This is exactly what it is. And you just put your piece of paper or you put your light colored felt up on the screen like this and you just trace around it. Number one, you don't have to worry about if you have toner, you don't have to go to the library. Those are the other ways you can do it. You can just take it to the library. But to print a black and white photo at the library is not much money. All of you have markers. I know you do because I see all the fabulous posts you make. You buy some nice cardstock. You can use this technique so that you can do watercolors. That way, when you go over it with your marker, you don't have to worry about if your ink is going to run because it's not. You used a permanent marker to retrace the outline. And let's say you want to use one of the designs for some pillows. You can make a couple different pillows and you just keep retracing it and you get the same image over and over again and you can put it on different types of material. And no, it's not going to work every time. But I also, what I do sometimes is I will trace it out around on the computer and then use a window. That's also a light board. I think she's really sweet and I, I love how she turned out. I wanted to show you this before I add color to it. I'll be back with more. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yes, she could stay on here permanently and be framed just as is. Or it would be an easy matter to take it off and put it on something else.